Brad, how you doing today? Hey, Daryl. Good to see you. Likewise, likewise. Listen, let's pick up the conversation where we left off. Um, this crazy times we're in right now, and you've got some really great ideas around this idea of leadership without a map <laughs> with all of what's going on today. What are your thoughts? Uh, well, again, uh, thanks for uh, the opportunity to have a conversation to, today. As you can tell from this uh, silly headset, I'm uh, still uh, working uh, from my home uh, office. Glad to be able to do that uh, for sure. And these are uh, times where we have a lot of uh, wobble in the marketplace. Uh, you have lots of uh, Lots of news, uh, most of it uh, not good, um, and uh, yet a glimmer of hope uh, perhaps on the horizon, hopefully. A um, lot of uncertainty and difficult uh, to lead a company uh, in these uh, choppy waters. Absolutely. So um, I, I think many, many CEOs, and I know a lot of the folks that we work with uh, here at Catapult Groups, um, are experiencing uh, unknown uh, territory. They're they're trying to guide their firms without a clear roadmap. Uh, the strategic plan you wrote uh, for implementation for, uh, for January, uh, probably uh, with few exceptions, uh, has been thrown out the window. Uh, oftentimes uh, we had to access the, uh, in case of emergency break glass plan. Right. And I'm not <laughs> even sure that that was good enough for the right. times uh, that, that we are in. Yeah. And again, very polarized, some businesses uh, thriving, some of them uh, still struggling to find, uh, find revenue. And um, I think the ones that are, that are doing, uh, doing well are finding a lane and the lane of revenue, that stream of revenue may be a different point than where it was in the past, mm. but they're finding what works, uh, making some investments and as they get traction, uh, continuing to uh, to enhance those revenue streams. Now, a simple uh, example in the marketplace, you know, the restaurants were closed, allowed to do delivery. Uh, some of them uh, have adapted well to, uh, to, to doing that and have generated uh, at least a good portion of their previous uh, revenue. Some uh, have not adjusted as well right. um, and have had difficulties in that. Uh, others uh, transition to selling groceries. Uh, I was watching a segment, uh, I think it was on uh, CNBC, but I, I may, may have the, uh, the network uh, wrong. And they were talking about a, uh, a farming uh, uh, place that had their own grocery and their own uh, control of goods from, from farm all the way through to a restaurant. Uh, and their, their market pl that they had, they turned entirely into a delivery market from an in-person thing. And it was, it was quite a different business. They didn't have the... Uh, appropriate e-commerce systems uh, in place to handle that kind of volume. Uh, the, the personnel were not used to it, but they transitioned and transitioned very quickly. And I think um, even when they go back to uh, having a more in-person experience, I think they will continue this other lane of business, which gives them yeah. uh, kind of a greater, uh, a greater field for revenue. Uh, so it's been good. Um, I think for leaders today, Daryl, it's critical uh, to understand that uh, not only are they experiencing some level of cabin fever, uh, that their employees probably are as well. And uh, the conversations uh, are difficult. I think people are stressed, uh, even if they're not uh, terribly directly affected uh, by the, uh, the current environment. Uh, there's definitely a lot of stress and the uncertainty of uh, whether schools are going back, not going back, uh, where, you know, is it okay to go out to dinner? Is it not okay? I mean, there's so many things that we, right. we don't know. And then unfortunately in this country, we made, you know, a big deal over whether you should wear a mask or not. Right. Um, uh, so a uh, lot of stress and that stress as much as we, uh, we expect or hope, uh, that our, our people, uh, don't bring it into the workplace. Uh, of course it, it does, it does spill over. And I don't think as a leader, you can fix that. But what you can do is understand and embrace that and create opportunities uh, for your employees. Um, you know, typically uh, in many businesses, uh, we have vacation time that employees take to get to decompress and have a break. Well, today, we're, what are we doing with that? Where are you right. going? Uh, I mean, I do know some people who have traveled and are traveling. Uh, but I know for, for myself and our family, we're like, eh, not too excited to go. I mean, we'd love to go, right. but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't feel right. So mm -hmm. we're, we're a little bit constrained here. And um, 
that's not good. Even taking a day off, uh, I don't know about you, but if I don't leave, I find it difficult to take a day off. Correct. Correct. Uh, I have to like physically remove. That's right. Um, and that's fine for me. I'm, I'm used to operating uncertainty in my position. Uh, that's, that's kind of par for the course. Uh, for many of your employees, uh, that lack of a regular pattern is, uh, is difficult to swallow. And, right. and as a result, I think you have to, uh, as the leader, encourage them to take a break and a real break, meaning unplug from the company's electronics, don't receive emails uh, and et cetera, so that they can come back a bit renewed. Uh, perhaps, you know, it's not as nice as when they went to the spa vacation or whatever, but at least uh, some, <laughs> right. kind of, uh, some kind of a break. So, yeah. um, you know, a couple, a couple things that I think uh, are important uh, today is just to understand that this wobble is, is difficult. Um, and I think uh, you've seen that in the marketplace. Um, and then we see that with our people. And then understand that uh, there are many obstacles for good revenue generation, uh, yet there are places that you can get traction. And I think as the leader, it's your job to find those, those, those rivers of cash, those, those opportunities, seize those opportunities, invest in them, even knowing full well that you may have to change course three or six months or perhaps even uh, tomorrow. Right. And then um, I think most importantly is to take a, take a breath, uh, know that uh, the world is not coming to an end and know that uh, tomorrow uh, and whether that's tomorrow or six months from tomorrow will be a brighter day and uh, keep your head up. Yeah. Yeah. Always great insights, Brad. So, so wise. Listen, Brad, Miss Love CEO, catapultgroups.com. Uh, business advisory coaching, um, peer advisory groups. You guys got to look him up. Uh, Brad, thanks for spending some time with us today. Hey, it's a pleasure uh, for the chat. I appreciate it. And uh, be healthy, stay safe, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Likewise. Same to you, sir. We'll see you soon.